Hello everyone, Monsignor Gill is here today on the feast of uh, well, World Life Day, and so I have a special guest with me, um, Father Daniel Sedlachik. I'm happy to have him as uh, a guest uh, on my show, so to speak, Minister with Monsignor. Uh, you're tired of probably hearing me so much. So welcome, uh, Father Sedlachik. And uh, we kind of have a bit of a connection way back in the day uh, when I was in eighth grade, about uh, 14 years old, I went up to my aunt and uncle's dairy farm, the Klizoviches, uh, up north, uh, about 13 miles from Cornell, I think. And I know that's your home parish, Holy Cross. And so we always went to mass there and I would see Rose and Leonard Peeper come in with how, 11? 12. 12, <laughs> 12 kids, 12 kids. And they would take up one, if not more, pews. And one of those people taking up the pew is your beloved mother, Teresa, right? Teresa, yeah. Teresa. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. so I knew Teresa, in a sense, for many, many years uh, before this guy ever came along. And uh, so um, I kind of knew that family. And um, I pretty much, in a sense, uh, was born and raised and grew up on a dairy farm as well. So I can connect a lot with... Uh, uh, Father Salachik here. So I'm going to just turn it over to you to maybe say a couple of words, a little bit about your background and maybe what's one point that you want us to take away on this Rural Life Day. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so I grew up on a dairy farm. I'm one of nine kids uh, myself and uh, I just, it, that was all normal to me so it's kind of hard to kind of speak mm -hmm. to that. It all just seems to be like normal but I realize it's less and less normal nowadays and so I think the importance of this celebration, uh, diocesan celebration of Rural Life Day which is the fourth Wednesday of September every year and uh, just to recognize that this is a real aspect of human reality and of our diocese of our area, uh, western Wisconsin and uh, that although it's becoming less and less common very very much um, the small dairy farms or the small uh, farms are very much as not are dying out, I guess people would say, um, that it's still an important aspect of our life, both as people of this area and as, as, and, and as Catholics as well, and that we connect our daily life uh, with our faith. And so, so the daily aspect of our life, of our, our food comes from the land, our, our, our society is sustained, uh, our cities are sustained by uh, rural life and by the people who work uh, so hard to, to give us food on our tables, uh, that that connects to our spiritual life as well, recognizing that we're all interconnected and that we're dependent upon each other, we're dependent upon creation, we're dependent ultimately upon God. And so I think that's what this world life is all, day is all about, um, and giving thanks to God, especially during this time of harvest, for for his many gifts of, of that harvest. That's a great point, uh, Father Sologic. And so if you know a farmer, please say thank you for all you do, acknowledge them, and uh, support them. So we do so with our prayers, our words, our deeds, and our gestures. So have a great day, everyone, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.